What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chadish. We're back at it again with the next epic fail recruitment video. Uh, for all those that are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Um, the Epic Fail Guild was a guild originally based off of our um, local summoning crew um, in my in my area um, that uh, eventually uh, created a, a guild based uh, through my YouTube channel and now has blossomed into uh, two competitive guilds and one guild, uh, farming guild, uh, that have uh, come together to form the Epic Fail community. Um, our two competitive guilds are Alpha and Omega, and then our farming guilds is, of course, uh, the Beta crew, which is what I'm showing you guys today. Um, the group is comprised of 23 members that have been with us for quite some time, um, continuously farming uh, their their guild wars so that they can get those units, those runes, those devil mons, those ifrits, so that they can one day come on board um, to join our uh, competitive side. So big shout out for everybody uh, leading the pack is Miss Tabith. As you guys know, she is one of the five of the original Epic Fail uh, crew, um, the local crew here in uh, in the United States and. Um, we have ourselves the two vice leaders, um, Jeremy, and then, of course, we got a Cubico that just recently came on board to kind of help out with our uh, starting the Guild Wars. So, um, big shout out to all you guys for doing what you do. Uh, as far as the uh, beta crew, as you can see, there is a couple of spots open, so I will go ahead and uh, allow this time to see if you guys want to come on board. It is a farming guild. Really, the only requirement is uh, is uh, being able to, you know, be uh, available uh, Monday through Saturday, twice a day, six times a day. Um, you know, our level 40 members uh, make sure that they get all of their swords in and then they, um, you know, obviously communicate within our lineup. There's no units and rune requirements, but overall, generally speaking, the majority of our members um, have been level 40 for a, for a little bit, right? They have anywhere from uh, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 6 stars, um, and, and, you know, anywhere from a third, you know, a, a quarter to a third of those are ruined pretty well. Um, but they're continuously working on those units so they can have, you know, two strong teams. So right now, the focus is on improving their units, not so much um, their actual, uh, you know, Guild War defense or whatnot. We set up, we set up a farming um, uh, defense so that we can stay in the lower ranks and get all the extra guild points that we use to improve our flags. Like I said, our, our get our Rainbow Mon and get our efforts um, so that we can form, you know, uh, teams for the competitive side. Um, other than that, nothing else to mention. We're a big, big advocate of the communication aspect, so make sure that, you know, if you want to come on board in the future, that you are one with the line app. Um, we use that to communicate, you know, 24-7. And uh, other than that, that should be it. Uh, again, for people that are interested in joining the farming group, uh, you can shoot me an email, chatters402 at gmail.com, and I'll see if I can get you on board because um, we generally are, are sitting at 25, but we do have a couple of spots open for you guys today. So um, next one up. Next one up is our uh, Epic Fail Omega. This is being recorded for you guys on the on the Sunday. So I want to give a quick shout out again for Epic Fail Omega finishing once again in the 50 to 60 rank here. It looks like we were 57 for the Epic Fail Omega. They've consistently been in the top end of the Guardian 3 ranks, just borderlining that Guardian 3 rank. So I can't wait to see them, you know, break that barrier and, and come on board with us in the... Uh, Guardian 3 ranks consistently. Um, they did reach Guardian 3 uh, in December. They did finish out uh, December once uh, in the Guardian 3, a really high Guardian 3 rank. And so it is good to see them, you know, slowly but surely working their way up. So uh, if you guys have been ever following my um, Guild War recruitment videos over the last, uh, you know, year or so, I've always tipped my hats off to Omega over anybody else because they're the ones that are coming from the farming guilds, moving into a competitive aspect, and they're, and they're in a whole new world. Um, testing out different units, runes, combinations, working on their synergies so that they can improve and one day, uh, you know, conform a guild into the Guardian 3, consistent Guardian 3 ranks. And, you know, as you guys know, anybody moving from a farming to a competitive guild, you know, it's it can be mentally uh, draining, you know, uh, looking to continuously improve. You see your teams fail, but again, as we've all come to know, epic failure, it's not about falling down. It's falling down and refusing to get up. We embrace the failures and we use that as fuel to get ourselves pumped up and in order to improve our stuff, um, you know, to be 1% better than the previous day and making a stronger version of yourself. So my hat's off to you guys again for doing everything and anything to improve your stuff so that we can one day have two guilds consistently in the Guardian 3 ranks. Big shout out to Epic Fail Omega. Boom. Okay, so Epic Fail Omega, uh, I think is going to have some spots open for you guys today. Yeah, buddy. We just had one of our members come on board from Omega to Alpha because we had uh, a little bit of room in uh, Alpha. 
I'll go ahead and type this in. My hands are freezing. Oh, my God. All right. So Epic Fail Omega is sitting at 25 members, which is generally the cap, but we always run um, two members extra. Uh, we rotate two people out for every every raid um, for any kind of emergency that somebody might have. Um, or if we happen to lose a, a member, you know, midweek or something like that, we always cover our backs so that we don't have any issues there. So here's the Epic Fail Omega crew. As you can see from the Beta and Omega crew, we are running a new logo. Um, each of the logos within the communities, each guild has their own logo now. Um, running a balanced scale with E on the, on the left, uh, and the F on the right, um, representing Epic Fail. And then the background emblem uh, showcases the um, which guild they are in. So big shout out to you guys um, again. Um, I, I love this community. Like I said, they're they're just constantly constantly doing their thing. So um, they uh, start their raids uh, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They also raid you know twice a day, six days a week. Um, nothing changes in that aspect as far as the beta goes from Omega to Beta. The communication is still the same. They are going out of the way to make sure that all the swords are getting used. And they're making sure that they are uh, maximizing their potential to win by um, micromanaging their green bars. You know, always going for the green bars first. If they can do those teams. Um, if they can't, then, you know, be selective on who to attack. But make sure that it's not um, somebody that's been attacked multiple times. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously at the end of the day, the goal is to get the win. We can't get the win if we're all focusing on plus three. So they do a great job of, of, of minimizing um, the, the negative aspect of that and making sure that all... all uh, people are fought um but that yeah that's pretty much it with the omega and last but not least we'll finish off with our epic fail alpha community uh coming on board for that um i want to give a big shout out to them uh, we have been doing everything and anything to improve our our ranking from top 15 to top 10 and from top 10 to top 5 it's my pleasure to announce that this is our first time as you guys know i'm recording this on sunday our first time breaking the barrier and reaching the top five rank um over the last uh, I want to say over the last two months, we've consistently been anywhere from top 25 to top 15, and then um, the last month, top 15 to top 10. And like I said, now we just broke the barrier, uh, hitting that top five rank. Um, I think uh, we've been right around there in the top 10 two or three times in the last two months out of out of eight weeks, like three times. So this is the highest rank we've got today. So uh, you, you guys know me. Um, I'm not one to sit here and and, and, and boost the, the guild, but I, as, as a guild leader that has watched our guild come up from the ground up, starting from Guardian 1 rank uh, when when in the inauguration, if that's the right word, of the Guild Wars, uh, we, we, we started at the Guardian 1 rank, has always been, um, you know, top 100, and, and have watched our guild grow to what it is today. I couldn't be more excited uh, to, to showcase my guild because uh, their, their hard work, um, their, their dedication, their, their desire, their discipline to be better every day, um, has shown time and time and again, and it hasn't shown any more than it has today. So big shout out to you guys. Um, we'll go ahead and showcase the guild. Uh, the guild is comprised of 20 members. And again, um, you know, some people wonder here why we're not running 25 like the other guild. Um, you know, even though we have an alpha, alpha group and omega group, um, the two guilds are one, they're both competitive things. So we treat them as much. Obviously we'd be one guild. Um, if we could, um, but unfortunately we have so many members that we had to break it up. So what happened was we had a one competitive guild and then one farming guild, but then we had um, uh, the hope to make a second competitive guild. And so this is how it's branched out to these two groups right now. Um, as far as people that want to come on board uh, directly in Alpha, obviously the requirements are going to be a little bit higher, so we'll go ahead and get into that. Everything the same from Omega and the Beta with regards to the... Um, you know, the, the level 40 requirement, the, you know, making sure they're using your swords. Um, and then of course the, uh, communication with the line app. Um, that's all, that's all the same, you know, micromanaging the green bars or whatnot, everything's all the same, but as far as the unit and room requirements, those differ a little bit. Um, with regards to, um, the alpha group, they are, uh, we're going to be looking at most of their members. Most of our members here have, have anywhere from 22 to 25 or more six stars. And out of those 25, six stars, they have themselves, I would say, anywhere from 9 to 10 units, um, uh, anywhere from 3 to 4 either Guild War offense or Guild War defense teams, uh, a mixture of units that comprise their 3 or 4 teams of offensive defensive units um, that are ruined 
extremely well. Now, I don't say exceptionally well. I say extremely well. Um, plus 15 on a 2-4 to 6 slot. The 1 to 3 and the 5 are anywhere from plus 12 to plus 15, depending on the unit that it's on. If it's a, a attack-based unit, the 1 slot's going to be max. If it's a defense-based unit, the 3 slot's going to be max. If it's a HP-based unit, like a Chandra, the 5 slot's going to be max. So we make sure that we get the edge that we need to you know climb up and, and do what we got to do. Um, as far as the alpha group, we have ourselves uh, 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 something a little bit different than the the other guilds. We have ourselves a separate uh, channel, not just for our um, um, alpha guild, but we have ourselves a, a section to put all of our raid notes information in. Our guild is very adamant about um, everybody that we fight um, in the in the top you know ten top fifteen ranks. We generally record um, their um, some notes based on on the raids we find, the teams that we find so that we can provide a little bit of insight for the people that are fighting um, them a little bit down the road or later in the day. So uh, we're very adamant about the communication within the line app, putting those notes in and making sure that we're using the swords, you know, first and foremost. So obviously, guys, uh, if there was any kind of emergency, we uh, we are a family oriented to go. We understand that family comes first. So if there was any kind of issues, obviously, if you make uh, make note, you know, let us know ahead of time. We can make the adjustments. That's why we run. Um, a couple extra people in all the guilds. We don't we don't uh, start this guild with uh, 20 members. We actually start with about uh, 17 to 18. Um, so we have two to, two extra spots to be rotate people out in case there was some kind of emergency. But overall, it's an exceptionally um, talented group of people. I am uh, extremely uh, humbled and honored to be a part of this uh, this group. Um, overall, with all three guilds, but definitely um, with this FFL Africa, we have some people uh, that just time and time and again showcase their true colors as far as going out of the way to pay it forward and help the not just the community uh within the alpha group but the community overall in general really providing their insight in our theory crafting channels our toa channels everything um it's amazing the the knowledge of people um within this group so again guys um i think that's pretty much it if you're looking to come on board uh you're gonna shoot me an email childish402 at gmail.com send me a friend request uh with that application um, a picture of your monster box so we can take a look at it. Um, I am the guild recruiter for all three guilds, and I oversee all three guilds. My leaders, uh, Alpau and Lunix for Alpha, Cyrus and Summonus for Omega, and then we got ourselves Tavith, Cubicle, and Jeremy MB for the beta community. So I make sure that I uh, do all the recruitment stuff for them and, and, and move you guys on to the respectable guilds. Um, but of course, if you have any specific questions for me or for anything with regards to the guild, I'd be more than happy to ask you to shoot me that email. So uh, that is it. I am done. Uh, epic fail to state for this video. This is my seventh recording. So if everything sounds a little bit rushed or a little bit unorganized, I apologize. I <laughs> attempted to state everything that I did, but apparently I kept on missing stuff. Everything should be covered. Um, even though I write notes, I still miss stuff. Don't, don't know how I do it, but that's just what it is. Again, uh, another quick shout out to everybody in the community and for Omega hitting that rank 57, um, Guardian 2 rank, etching on to the Guardian 3, and then of course uh, Epic Fell Alpha for their first top 5 finish, finishing off this week for the rank number 4 slot. So thank you all for tuning in. It's a pleasure to make these videos for you as always. It's your boy Childish, Childish Plays, checking out. Take care. We'll see you next time, guys. We're out.